why every time I hit the game it does that now. It's kind of weird. I'm going to figure that out. Um, <laughs> some button has been remapped or something. Uh, welcome, guys. Uh, we're here at uh, Lansing Capital Airport uh, with the uh, Boeing 717-200 by, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, something Design. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just TFDI? blink. TFDI, I think I just blanked on it. I want to say it's over with an eye for some reason. Um, but uh, we're going to be going uh, up to uh, Minneapolis. We're doing basically a sports charter for fans uh, for the uh, the uh, Michigan State Spartans who are competing in the Final Four up in uh, Minneapolis. So uh, Friday Night Ops is getting underway. I already see a whole bunch of centers on. I've got Chicago Center, Cleveland Center, Kansas City Center, and Minneapolis Center all online. So we should have uh, plenty of coverage uh, going over there today. We're also going to try to do a uh, shared cockpit with uh, David Rothmuller, who's uh, working on getting his uh, sim all fired up. And uh, so hopefully here in a second we'll have that uh, up and running here. Uh, I want to see where i got to get my thing set here as well. Crew, that's what I need to do. Pilot flying. Let's see how I do this again. It's been a while. Uh, hey, Corey, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. First one here besides David. Good to see you. Uh, let's see. I thought I could just go in and hit pilot flying and all, all worked as prescribed. Are sure. you hosting the session? I am. Let me make sure I'm on the right IP though. Did you connect correctly or? Well, I'm not sure. Do you fill out the, do you have to fill out the left I, side? I filled out both sides. I just need to double check the IP on the side because I don't know if I, it's the same from last time I thought, but I just want to make sure. Uh, twenty-five seven one seven two two three four. Looks like that should be correct. No, that's the one I'm. Uh, uh, well, actually, maybe that should be mine. My two five twenty-five eight ninety-one two five three. Let me change it. Twenty-five eight dot. Let's see here. See if that does anything. Save settings. Begin session. And not a. Why does this always be stupid whenever I try to do this? Hmm. All right, what am I doing wrong here? <laughs> uh, start the session. Both passwords are the same. I, I changed them beforehand. I've got the log me in thing running. Um. I don't know what I'm. Am I technically connected to something? I cannot um, go offline. Hmm. Let me see here. Uh, how did I get into settings last time? So I got into my well, preferences. That's probably what it was. Oop, something just changed. Oh, I just timed that. Never mind. Never mind. Server connection. Well, that's a. Hmm. Is your trusted? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Can't seem to connect with either one. Oh, seems to be trying something now. Bear with me, guys. We'll, we'll have this run in a second. This always is a <laughs> little bit of a pain in the butt in the beginning because it never seems to act the same way as it's supposed to. I don't know why. Do not know why. Are you all loaded up, by the way, David? Just loading into the airport with my aircraft. Okay. Um, let me restart Hamachi here, see if that does the trick. All right. Begin session. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. Yep, just had to restart Hamachi. Restart does a world of good. All right, so I'm connected in as pilot flying on the uh, on stand P1 at uh, K Lima Alpha November. So let me know when you're in as well. All right, while that's happening, let me uh, change some statuses here. Get that all set. I think Fly Live is working. Yes, it is. We're already loaded in on uh, Project Fly, and that's all set to go. We do have the flight plan, so let's go ahead and review that. We're waiting for uh, David. Uh, I'm in. Oh, you're in? Okay. Do you connect? Yeah, I should be connected. Okay. Excellent. All right, well, then, now that you're connected, let's go ahead and... Uh, Actually, you want to go ahead and power up the aircraft. The uh, ground power and uh, air are already connected outside. They just need to be turned on in the sim, if you know how to do that. Okay. Uh, setups. Let's go tablet. Oh, I hear it going. Yep. All right. And uh, let's look at the flight plan here for a moment. So we're uh, right here in uh, Lansing. Going to be heading out to uh, Minneapolis right there. Our uh, departure today... Uh, actually, we don't have really departure. It's just Welco direct to Idiom and then uh, the Muscle 3 arrival into Minneapolis. We're going to be cruising at uh, 32,000 feet. Uh, air time about an hour 20 minutes and a block time of an hour 50 minutes. We're going to need about 15,230 pounds of fuel, which I'm going to increase to about, uh, let's see, 15. Let's just take 18 to be safe. We are going into uh, MSP on uh, Friday Night Ops. I never had a problem in Minneapolis, but it's the first time for everything. So we'll take 18,000 pounds of fuel, so we'll bump that up a little bit. And uh, therefore, our takeoff weight's going to go up a little bit as well. So our takeoff weight's going to go up about, uh, looks like, to uh, 114, about 115, actually, because we're at 11, 111, 8. So about 115,000 pounds for our takeoff weight. Zero fuel weight, 97, zero 90. Let's see what uh, we got for people on board this thing. We got 125 on the packs, uh, cargo 200 pounds, and then this is your wave 97.1. So let's go ahead. Uh, while I've got this open, I'll uh, load up the aircraft with the peoples and the thing. So we're going to take uh, what did I say? 18,000 pounds? Yeah, 18,000. We're going to take 18,000 pounds of fuel. And that'll do it for me. That's nice. I like that. 9,000 each side. I'm going to send the fuel to the sim right now. See if that works. I'm going to zero out the cargo. We have, uh, let's see, how many passengers? 125. 125 is right there. And that gives us a zero fuel weight of 94,609. We should have a zero fuel weight of a 97,1. So we got to count for some cargo and bags. So let me pull up the calculator here. So 97,100 minus uh, 946, 94, 6 is 2,500 extra. So we just got to load in some extra cargo here. So we'll load in uh, 1,000 each side. And actually, uh, we'll just do 1,000. Can we do 1,000? Yes, we can. 1,250. 97109, that's close enough. We'll send the payload to the sim, send the fuel to the sim one more time, and we'll check our uh, numbers on the built in tablet real quick just to make sure that took 97.1, 115.1 on the gross weight. Yep. 17.5 in center gravity. Okay. So we are good there. Put the tablet away. And. Uh, David, if you want to go through and uh, run through the uh, initial uh, cockpit setting checks while I uh, load up the uh, FMC, that would probably be a good idea. Oops. Oh, I need to reset that. I'm set up from uh, last time. All right, I'm in. Uh, let's see. MCDU. That's that one. Sign key F4. Yes. First officers and CDU assign key. There we go. That was on that checklist you sent me earlier, right? Uh, yes. Okay, we'll find it now. All right. Uh, let's see. FMC. 
actually, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and turn the IRSs on just so I can line that thing up. We're planning it. We are on 1904, so that's good. We're going from K Lima Alpha November. Whoops. To Kilo Mike Sierra Papa. We'll be going to Charlie 9 at uh, Mike Sierra Papa. Do that. Our alternate today is uh, KDSP, I believe. SP. Wherever P is. There you go. Oh, stupid Align IRS. You know what? I'll get to you in a moment. DSP. Not in database. Okay. Oh, you know, I bet it's KDSM. That makes more sense. There we go. All right. Initialize the IRS and our flight number today, West Wind 1990. Cruise altitude is 320. Cost index is 30 for this aircraft. And let's see, we have our takeoff gross, or sorry, zero fuel weight is uh, 97. Uh, what did I say? 97.1, I think it was. I'll make sure this is still showing the same thing. 97.1 and 151, the gross weight, yeah. 97.1 on the zero fuel. Block fuel is 18.0. Just one zero. 114.6. How do you figure that? Oh, that's takeoff weight. Yeah. It's eliminating fuel for takeoff weight. Yeah. Okay. And uh, 17.5, I think, is our takeoff CG. 17.5, yeah. 17.5. 17.5. There we go. And that's page means nothing. Okay. Let's go over to our flight plan. And uh, we need to do a weather brief here before we do anything else, because we need to find out what runway we're probably taking. So let's look at our weather conditions. K-L-A-N. Nope, I keep putting L-A-X by uh, habit. <laughs> Not the right runway. Uh, the wind is calm. Oh, well, look at that. Zero, zero, zero. 10 mile visibility, few clouds, 6,000. Temperature, 1, 1, 2.05. Altimeter, 3, zero, zero, niner. So let's go ahead and set our altimeter on our side real quick. 3, zero, zero, niner. There we go. And so I don't know what runway we're going to get. Um, basically, there are only two, there's only one runway we're going to take because the other two are too small. Uh, it's either 10 right or 2 8 left. And seeing as we need to go to the uh, uh, that direction, we're probably just going to do a 2 8 left. So, yeah, we'll just do that. So, we'll say, uh, we'll go to SID. There are no SIDs at this airport, but it's just to, to get to the runway. So, um, 28 left is our runway. We're going to insert that. And from 28 left, our next waypoint is our, uh, our first point, our plan, which is, where'd you go? Welco, W E L K O. W E L K O. Welco. From Welco, we go to uh, Idiom. I D I O M. Stop saying not allowed. I'm trying to type, you stupid thing. I D I O M. And from there, we go to our star, which is going to be the muscle three, but I'm not seeing that. Oh, that's why, yeah. Muscle three, idiom. And let's take a look at weather in Minneapolis. Uh, I think shifts around on me. It's annoying. Okay. KMSP. Weather for Minneapolis, variable at 3, 7 mile visibility, overcast at uh, 2,400, temperature 11, 2.6, so temperature 3, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so basically calm winds at both airports for the most part. So 
Um, I'm curious what direction they are landing. Let's take a look at uh, the radar and see if we can tell yet. So we can make an informed decision. I would assume they'll be landing either on the one twos or the ten or the or the thirties. He's coming in. He is leaving. Yeah, they're coming in on the uh, one twos. Okay. So let's just assume then one two. Let's assume one two right. I think is probably what they'll give us for land. Eh, well. I could go either way. Let me let's do 12 left. The, uh, one two left would be ideal for us. So we'll say that. And we'll insert that. I'm going to leave those blank for now. And we'll check our thing for discontinuities. We do have one. So we'll clear the discontinuity. And we're good. Over to takeoff and arrival. Winds calm, so zero zero. Outside air temperature is uh, 11 degrees C. Flap is going to be 13, I believe. I think it usually is, anyway. Turn, but yeah, 13. Flap 13. And always dry. So our V1 is 137, our VR is 139, our V2 is 145. David, how are we doing? One uh, interior next year inspection, right? The interior, yeah, the uh, the preliminary. Uh, that is complete. Okay, okay. excellent. 717 dual cockpit. Uh, yes, we are. This be fun. Uh huh. How you doing, Captain Tim? I'm eating. Oh. <laughs> well, then you should be doing quite well. <laughs> uh, looks like our navs are still aligning. Uh, I actually won't be around for this flight. I'm actually going out to meet with a friend. We're going to get some food to celebrate my, my first solo that I had on Monday. Oh, nice. Well, well done. He, he's giving me the first round, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm talking to my friend AJ. I'll get you the most accurate program I've seen about right here. The new most accurate what? Runway numbers. Oh, well, I, I see they're landing on the one twos already. Whether they give us left or right will just depend on where they decide to put us in the sequence when we get there. So. Yeah, I'm. I'll just I'm just getting myself so I have information for you so I can. All right, all right. Because in case things change or you know, I can get try and get a four flight for you that way, so you get up plan for one thing and you get all your numbers twist around again. All right. Uh. Let's see, let's double check on some things here. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Oh, this on, nabs are on. Good, good, good. Uh, David, you did miss something I will point out real quick. On the overhead panel under windshield, uh, the anti ice, you do want to turn that on. That's the equivalent of the uh, window heat in uh, most aircraft. Windshield? Yeah, where it says windshield, anti-fog, and anti-ice. No, no, not anti-fog. Just the anti-ice. Yep. Other, other way around. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's also do this. Glide slope. Pull up. Just to terrain, sure. terrain. Pull up. All right, so you already got our speed set for 155 for V2 plus 10. That's good. Our uh, 285, is that the correct uh, runway heading? No, 276. 276, okay. You want to go ahead and set that in the heading there then? And we have to call for our... Oh, let me file our... I need to get my flight plan stuff filed here. Let me do that. That's Cleveland Center airspace. Thank you, sir. Uh, Pre-file. That sim. You just doing the one leg tonight? Yep. Uh, 
let's see, what's my line? that and let's file it with that sim fetch file there we go All right, did you get your altimeter set on your side, 3009? Yes. Okay, excellent. If you're in a shared cockpit and you hit the B key, will it set both? I don't know. Let's try it real quick. Uh, David, just set yours to something random real quick. I'm going to set mine to something random. Okay, stand by. Uh, no, in shared cockpit, it sets none of them. <laughs> <laughs> and now we know. Thank now you. we know. All right, three zero nine reset on my side. Um, I think on the uh, the dial of flap selected there, David, it needs to be set to either zero or takeoff. Over on your uh, yeah, right there. Let's scroll that down to yeah. Keep going. Stow, yeah, just put it in stow. That's fine. Or in the, it'll go over in the hash. Yeah, let's put it right there. That's good. And then once we, uh, once we're flaps are up, condition, you can set that reset that to five. But for takeoff, we just put it there. Falcon Flyer, how you doing? I'm doing well. Um, we're doing a little shared cockpit here with uh, David Rothmuller, trying to get uh, running. Looks like our IRSs have now aligned, so that's good. Uh, stall warning fails. That's just because certain things are not online yet, I'm, yeah, guessing. I'm guessing. Plan for concourse Delta, Charlie, or Bravo, or Alpha. Uh, well, I re well the concourse, I don't, ma I don't care about. I, I already have my gate. I'm going to Charlie 9. The only thing I need uh, to know is runway. <laughs> oh, Charlie 9 is American Overflow. Okay. Yeah, the Charlie 9 is where I go. That's just what it is. <laughs> Charlie 9 is where I go. Uh, Let's see, where is the, where is that, is that a switch? I don't think so. Hey David, can you hear me? Yes I can. Okay, I need you to promise me that you both will end up in Minneapolis tonight. <laughs> We're going to Tijuana, baby. I noticed uh, Trump was in uh, Southern California inspecting the wall. You think that's a coincidence that I, uh, he's there after I uh, accidentally jumped the border? Do you imagine right how nervous the Secret Service was? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, good grief. Uh, park break on, strong power on, fuel conveying, miscellaneous. miscellaneous. What are you yelling at me about? Let's see what it wants here. Uh, drain mass heat. Coordinate with cabin crew. Forward and aft galley lab sink may not drain due to ice. Uh, departing icing area. Oh, that's interesting. Alien heat left fail. ATC transponder one fail. Stick pressure fail. Stall warning fail. Okay. That made. Do something here. Oh, that's why the. Uh, the left bus wasn't tied in. There we go. That makes more sense. Bat charging, good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, electrical. Bat charging. Exterior power. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Well, let me see about getting us uh, clearance from uh, Cleveland Center. That's uh, one three four point nine. If you want to tune that up for me. 
Thank you. Uh, where's my notepad? Yeah, it's two zero nine for speed direct uh, climb and maintain top of the tree five zero. Cleveland Center, Westwind 1990 on the ground at uh, Lansing Capital, uh, looking for clearance to Minneapolis. Westwind 20, uh, Westwind, ooh, stand by, what was it, what was it called? Westwind 1990, your clearance on request, stand by your number two. Standing by, 1990. At least he got it right about it. for the 12s. They're landing that way right now. Yeah, I already said that. <laughs> Are you not paying attention? I'm just confirming it. Uh-huh. Want to do a fire test? Daylight and dollar short. Yeah, go ahead. Fire, right engine. Fire, right engine. Fire, left engine. APU, fire. Fire, right engine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dun, 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 and Westwood 1990, we're cleared to Minneapolis, St. Paul, as filed. Uh, Varior vectors to Welco. We'll climb, maintain 5,000. Expect uh, 320, 10 minutes after departure. Departure with you, Squawk 5770. Westwood 1990, read back is correct. Pushing to start at your discretion. Expect runway 28 for departure. Lansing altimeter 3009. Call and ready. All right, we'll push and start our discretion. We'll plan for 28 and 3009 for the altimeter. Thanks, Nick Nutty. Okay. Wonderful. So we got the runway we expected. We have the altimeter we expected. Uh, go ahead, uh, David, on your uh, FMC. Go ahead and uh, select the FMC so that way it's uh, at least loaded up there. That'll make the uh, thing happy. And uh, what's it yelling about air for? Probably because we don't have the APU. Oh, yeah, packs are off. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start the APU, and then we can uh, clear off the uh, ground uh, services. So start Cleveland pump Center, Start pump needs to go on first. On Detroit, Wait, on nope, 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 nope. Cancel that. So uh, start pump first, now, which is down here by the engine ignition, the engine start switches. For what? Uh, the it, the start pump right down here by the engine uh, start switches, the two uh, red. Yeah. Now turn the air off for the APU because we actually would start that about a minute after the APU runs up. So go ahead now. Now put the APU into start. You can put the APU into start now. There we go. All right, and let's we'll watch the APU over here on the uh, number two ICAS. For those of you just tuning in, we are doing a shared cockpit with the uh, 717 out of uh, Lansing Capital going to uh, Minneapolis tonight. All right, go ahead and put the yeah, APU air on. Pass. And go ahead and switch over to APU for the electrical. All right, you can disconnect the, uh, um, yeah, there you go. And then I'll uh, tell the uh, ground cart to go away. Exterior ground power unit can close. Excellent, uh, okay. Cut your uh, parking brake set? I do, yeah. Um, and we'll do that. 
do a Southwest 1555 off the no sand. Wind two three, runway two two left for takeoff. All right, here comes John. Do uh, get us hooked up to push back. Let's go ahead and put the uh, beacon on now. We are ready for pushback. We went to go six seventy four for level three six zero thirty seven. The east of Geneva. That's 27, uh, 26, pilot flying, not flying. What was that? Who's the PF and PNF? Uh, I'm the pilot flying. Uh, David's the pilot not flying. Okay. That's 26, 74, radar contact, 75 miles southeast of Buffalo. Welcome. Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Release parking brakes. All right, brakes released. Mountain 2469, contact Chicago Center now. Nope, no, why aren't the brakes releasing? 1 tree 4.87. Release parking push. All engines clear. Yeah, Start at 3 4 8 7. Right. Chicago Center, Mountain 2469, thank you, service. The button wasn't working. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, Fuel pumps on, and we'll start uh, engine number two. And you're back in the gate at 36 past the hour. Thanks, sir. Uh, you can leave the center pumps off. We don't have anything in the center tank. Southwest 1124, one way, two to left. Taxi via Juliet, Yankee, Yankee one zero. All right, start engine number two, please. Yep, engine two. Juliet, Yankee, Yankee one zero, cross nine left, 1124. Southwest 1555, radar contact. Hey, R. Bauer, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Metro 5025 requesting to step away for about 10 minutes. Metro 5025, Roger. Oh, good, Matt. The government for screwing up my student loans. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, that's <laughs> not surprised, but unfortunate. Uh, Fishy Gaming, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard, sir. All right, we got a good engine start on number two. Go ahead and start engine number one, please. Set parking brakes. Brake set. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, that thing. Okay, there we go. You can hit the uh, engine one starter again. We had a pneumatic uh, thing. <laughs> so when we're starting number one, we always need to make sure the center um, pneumatic switch right here for the, the bleeds is in open, not in auto, because otherwise it won't put the uh, APU air over there, or the engine air for that matter. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass been removed. Yep. Actually, you, you probably want Southwest the uh, 15, 15, air display on the cop. right panel because you want to see when the cutouts happen. Oh, I see. I got you. Oh, I see. I got you. Left is clear, David, for that. Right is clear. Uh, so GSX broke the shared cockpit mode. What do you mean? Oh, you, did you get booted out? No, it's just that I was, uh, we're still at the gate. Oh, just hit resync. Well, no, it's, what it's doing is it's teleporting to your current location, and then moving itself back to the gate. Huh? Well, that's weird. Alright, stand by. Uh, let me... Let's see, GSX is finishing up its thing. Let me see if when G, let me see if GSX goes away, if that'll... Well, that's the first I've seen. Yeah. What's the 
clicking. Oh, I know what that is. Um, what's your status now? Still okay. And resyncing, still doing the same thing? Yep. <laughs> um, can you, uh, let's see, can you disconnect and try and reconnect? See if that does it? Just tried that and it still doesn't like it. Really? Uh, well, that's annoying. Uh, let me... Here, I'm going to disconnect too and see if... Uh, so, you disconnect first, I'll disconnect, and then I'll start it up and I'm... Okay, I'm disconnected. Alright, disconnect. Let me do over here. I'm going to end and restart. Again. Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. So I did turn into a ghost. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you gonna make me do that again? I think you have to open the door so David can get back in. <laughs> there was a great um, uh, meme I saw on the internet the other day. It's a, it's like a, a ERJ 145 or something, and the door is closed, and the pilot's got his hand on the door and like one leg up on it, like he's trying to pull it open. It was hilarious. I don't know what was going on Ouch. in reality, but yeah, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, <laughs> it just moved me back to the gate when I did that. All right, all right, we'll just do we'll we'll push back the old-fashioned way. Are you turning off all the engines? Oh my gosh, what the heck? What part of connect? I'm the host. Why would you be resetting things? So apparently, uh, it's kind of glitching out because uh, I thought you were connected, so I hit uh, pilot offline. Uh huh. It puts me to pilot. Pilot flying, I disconnect, reconnect as a pilot not flying, it changes me to observer. Mm. Alright, what? Well, Alright, let's see, is it gonna kill anyone? Go. Okay. Alright, we're, we're at the gate, so don't let that confuse you, because it just pushed me right back to the gate, too, when I did that, so. We'll just have to push back the old fashioned way, apparently. All right, let's go ahead and uh, okay. You, are you connected back in? Was that a yes? All I heard was a tss. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna release the parking brakes. I'm gonna shift P. All right, there we go. Uh, go ahead and start engine number one because that um, got weirded out apparently when we did that. There we go. All right, try this again. Hopefully, we don't have a uh, an overheat on the engine since it like just shut down. <laughs> Click on. Southwest 1555, calling me Kenny. Bravo 2 my apologies. Altitude 340, 1555. We'll get a little bit beyond this uh, service road and then we'll, we'll We'll spin around from there. Center, Catfish 209 request. Catfish 209, go ahead. That was weird. <laughs> Sir, we'd like to amend our final at 350 to 350. Alright. Parking brake set, we got two good starts. 
Catfish, uh, two nine time, and level three three zero. Uh, go ahead and set flaps 13. Copy, okay, fly level three three zero, Catfish, two nine time. Alarm that guy. Three seven, southwest 11 24, holding short 22 left, ready to go. Alrighty, and let's see, our transponder's still set, yes it is. Whoa! Southwest 11 24, our next winner is. I've. Two, two, three, move the flaps three, back two, up two notches. Hey, what? Uh, you're, you're just, you just set flaps 25. <laughs> Alright, down one. Because now it's a flap zero, is what I'm showing. Not slats zero? Uh, well, it's showing slats, but not, it's... Just, just hit the flaps down one. Yeah, right there. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. You gonna dial a flap problem? Uh, oh, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, go to flaps. Mountain so hit, hit him one, hit, hit down one more time. Right there, that should be flaps 13. There we go. Seven for mountain one today. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> uh, can you uh, go ahead and give me the uh, after start checklist? All right, engine anti ice. Uh, not required. Air conditioning panel. Is set. Skip right onto the taxi checklist flaps. Well, that was it. <laughs> uh, flaps showing uh, thirteen. Spoilers. Are armed. Takeoff speeds. Are Wait, set at 137, 139, and 145. Uh, thrust. Uh, thrust is uh, 1.45. Stab trim? Uh, stab trim is supposed to be 5.1. Let me see. Uh, Where's that page? 134.875. Have a good day. Other way. Southwest 11:24. Radar contact. Oh, what? What? You stupid thing! Stop fighting me. What the heck? MCAS is going nuts. You're not touching the stab, right? No. What okay. if you just use the main one? What do you mean? The, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's right. That's stupid. I don't know why it does that with this aircraft, but yeah. We'll do it this way. There we go. All right, stay up trim set, 5.1. Metro 5225 with that. Flight controls. Uh, let's pull up the actual config page there. And they'll stick because they do. That's a bug in the system. Metro 5025, Roger. Rudder left, rudder right. Flight, Southwest 11 flight controls check. Direct will we not climb and maintain top of tree five zero. That's a checklist complete. All right. And. Direct will we not three five zero eleven twenty four. Okay, we got a call for taxi here. Delta twenty two thirty one contact Minneapolis Center one three three point four zero. Cleveland Center, Westwood, 1990, on the ground at uh, Lansing Capital, ready for taxi. Westwood, 1990, runway 28, uh, runway 28 left, taxi via Bravo. 28 left via Bravo, Westwood, 1990. All right, here we go. Cleveland Center, good evening, FedEx 320 Heavy. We are at uh, 10,000, 10,000. 10,000. FedEx 320, Cleveland Center, climb and maintain level 350. Level 350, FedEx 320, heavy. Yes, I have done that before, the fire switches. Mm -hmm. Not on purpose. <laughs> I wasn't actually clicking the fire switches. But... Level 2710, I Well, 717 or on the uh, Mad Dog? That was the Mad Dog.
Yeah, we try not to duplicate things. We are original. That's right. <laughs> so 2710, sir, are you requesting your clip, sir? Because I already sent it to you via tax. Are you ready for, are you ready for taxi? How you doing tonight, uh, yes, Kevin? Sir, we have the BDC clearance on ready for walking 5741 and ready for taxi involved. And uh, Delta 2710, uh, I can give you a runway 21 right. Uh, would you like that? Okay, 21 right, Delta 2710. Okay. Delta 2710, runway 28 right, taxi via. Uh, I'm doing okay. Victor, yeah. Mike. Taxi to one right via Victor Mike, the 27 time taxi. Uh, go ahead and put the uh, the engine generators on. They're still on APU, apparently. No 26 airspace to the northwest. Toronto center is closed. Here to change the crew. Excellent. And you can turn off the APU if you want. I'm turn off the APU air. Uh, yes. Yeah, APU, APU air, and the start pump can all go off. Now we fly six twelve, Chicago Center, one three four point eight seven, right? Three one envoy two hundred is with you, eight thousand four one zero thousand direct uh dirt low. Envoy two hundred cold even center on anything about the three two zero. Oh no three two zero envoy two hundred. Uh, TCAS to TARA, please. And before takeoff checklist. Runway position. Uh, runway 28 left verified. Flaps. Boom. Uh, 13. Takeoff breaking complete. Yes. American 2204. Cleveland Center. Break temp. American 2204. Squawk. Break temp's okay. EAD. Uh, green box. Transponder. Is on Tierra. Flight attendants. Stand by. Pregnant. <laughs> Alerted. Take off briefing complete. Okay. Cleveland Center, West 1990, on the ground at Lansing Capital, ready for takeoff, runway 28 left. West 1990, fly runway heading. Runway calm, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, runway calm, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff, West 1990. All right, here we go. American 2204, seems to be working. Strobes on, please. Or high intensities, as it's probably called in this aircraft. Yeah. Lighting lights coming in, good. Wheels, or no? Uh, huh? American oh, no, you, uh, no, um, taxi light's on, right? And, uh, two, six miles yeah, that's fine. Uh, and go ahead and hit the uh, auto flight switch once, please. Thank you. And here we go. Right into the sun, nice. <laughs> we'll see if you're flying next plane. You can put your sunglasses on. I know.
Nuts. Cross check. V1. Rotate. V2. Good night. It's a slow climb out of this aircraft today. That's because David's on board. Uh, positive rate, gear up. Okay, over to you, Dom, for FedEx 20 Heavy. Thanks very much. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. Cleveland Center, Westwind 1990 with you. Climbing out of uh, 2,000 for 5,000. Westwind 1990, New York or Cleveland Center Radar contact. Turn right heading uh, 320, climb maintain 5320. Right 320, climb 320, 1990. That's an easy uh, clearance. <laughs> 320 squared. Yep. 14 Delta Victor radio check. No last calling aircraft, I have your loud and clear. I'm gonna turn the taxi lights off. Uh, yeah, all light. Uh, yeah, the landing lights stay on, but the taxi lights come off, yeah. Center, Catfish 2 0, cross step away just for a minute. Catfish 2 0, now you're going to report back. We'll go to your honor. And flapper tracked. Westwind 1990 of the Metman climb maintained level 300. No, you and I are going to have to try this. Uh, 300 instead for traffic, 1990. Yeah, Tim, we are. I said 280. Uh, correction, uh, it was a 280. Oh, I heard 300. Sorry, 280 for 1990. Thank you, David. He corrected himself. Uh oh. You'll get higher from Chicago. Yeah, because all that marijuana, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Westwind 1990 contact Chicago Center. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, 134.87. Chicago Center 134.87, 1990. Metro 50, 25, same with. Chicago Center Westwind 1990 with you climbing out of 7000 for 280. Westwind 19 on Chicago Center. Uh, could you repeat for Regan 1564? Just wait, please. American 64 cross fight at 11,025 to the 9 to 3006. Do you want to do flap slicker? Not yet. Once, once all the devices are up, then we'll then we'll do that. We'll do that as part of the uh, after takeoff checklist, I think. Delta 7, and uh, slats will come up now. That's going to be at your 1 o'clock. And 2 7 miles is going to be a south down uh, 7 17 at 5 3 1 0. Roger, we'll be looking for that traffic. And after takeoff checklist. Chicago Center, Metro 5525 with you. And this is stuff you're going to, you're basically going to double check and read it out because I'm flying the plane. What? You're, you're basically going to read out and accomplish because I'm flying the plane, so. Oh, okay. Number 234, Hotel Fox, I joined the one right look at. So just state what you're doing. The drug panel is. Roger, join the localizer. Set. Okay. Metro 5025, Fox, Fuse off. And the gear is up. Slats and strap. Slats is retract. Uh, flaps, take off, select, put that to five. Yep. 
Southwest 1555, right, uh, sorry about that, Chicago. No, you can uh, cross hey, uh, Haley at 6000, midway out to my uh, 3007. Haley at 1555. Can you give me a direct waypoint or you just flying 280? You just gave me 320 at the moment, north but north we are essentially north flying north. to the waypoint that, on that heading, so. Alright, spoilers. Disarm, good. Disarm. And EAD. Southwest 1555, you can. Just blank. Uh, Haley at 6000. Check. And we are above 10,000. Yes, we are. Chicago Center, uh, Delta 44 has that traffic, and we're also out of uh, level 3 to 0. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, I gave you a half, uh, call out on your temporary altitude. So Was that it? Yeah. All right, does that make sure you say after takeoff checklist complete after that? Do you want to do passengers? Um, yeah. Yeah, do the passengers. <laughs> All of them. Seatbelt signs can be off as well. Two, three, four, two, five, trial, you're going to pull some base, uh, maintain three thousand until the south is clear, I'll ask for one nine right approach. Drive <laughs> right, so clear, I'll ask for one nine right approach, uh, Mooney 4, Tesla. What is 20 apparently a full service airline? Yeah, Southwest 1555. We are. Full stop. <laughs> Skywest 3993, cross with NOS, left level 320. Left level 320, 3993. Number 234, Hotel Fox, track, walking wind 1408, runway 1 clear wind. Okay, clear to land, 1 9 uh, thank you. Yeah, the passengers had no idea what they were signing up for. <laughs> or did they? Oh, what a beautiful evening. Heading to Minneapolis. First, the new Hooters in service. <laughs> yeah, Hooters are beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mr. Rogers neighborhood. That's 18,000 feet. So uh, switch to standard. And go ahead and gauge the autopilot for me. Uh, why is it? No, no, that. Ah. What the heck? <laughs> hold that heading. It, no, it was holding. It was rem it remembering the other heading. You said it, but you didn't pull it, so it didn't. It didn't have it as a uh, thing. I actually needed it. I just now. So there we go. Actually, the rule of thumb is. Only the pilot flying should be touching Clock the autopilot. Three, uh, six, oh, okay. Uh, That's good to know. Delta 744, contact me at 133.4 today. Anytime you're given a heading change and things like that, the pilot not flying should validate that you actually have put the right number in the uh, autopilot. Oh, okay. Contact me at 133.45. Don't make me get my clipboard out. <laughs>
Freak out, there's your 30 contact, uh, Mary Alpha Sparrow now on, uh, 133.45. Freak out, there's your 30 contact, uh, Mary Alpha Sparrow now on, uh, 133.45. Only Minneapolis 7345. Right here on 6630. I got a question for you once we get through. 744 contact, uh, Minneapolis Center. You could ask me now if you want. That'd be frequency 133.4. How early are we waking up tomorrow? Uh, so actually, I didn't need to do it. I was going to announce this during cruise. Uh, we're actually not going to be doing that flight tomorrow, um, as I am not going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be, uh, I'm actually going to be spending uh, the day with my brother. So, um,. Little uh, change of plans, so we will push that. Uh, we'll push that flight down the road a little bit. Basically, you're saying yeah, 1837 contact Chicago approach. Yeah, the, yeah, the zero. flight. The flight is canceled. Pushing over Chicago approach one one nine one zero. Complications due to MCAS. Okay. <laughs> Metro 5025 requesting descent. Uh, yeah, Tim, uh, Falcon Flyer says hi, by the way. I don't know if you saw that in chat. The Metro, um, Metro 5025 uh, cross says at 14,000 Milwaukee altimeter, uh, 3007. And, uh, Arbauer has a question for you in chat as well. Can you repeat that one more time for Metro 5025? Metro 5025 cross says at 14,000 Milwaukee altimeter, uh, 30, sorry, 3007. No, not that I know of. Um, it does get uh, rather dicey the higher you go because you're uh, crossing studs at 1500 metro 5025. It's just much more efficient to fly with the autopilot, but I kick it off about every uh, 40 minutes to an hour, 20 minutes, to um, just to feel the airplane to see if the autopilot is masking anything. So it drives the first oh, no, it, um, it's just something you do. Um, I learned that lesson from the Rose Lawn accident. Which accident was that now? The Rose Lawn ATR accident. Oh, okay. The one where the uh, airplane was making ice and uh, the autopilot was masking it. Oh. And the uh, pilots didn't catch it when they were in the hold. Gotcha. I got 10,000 giving on the way to the one with you, out of 7,000 for 1.5,000. I'm with 221 Chicago Center, uh, leaving 1,000, as resume normal speed, I maintain uh, 501320. Falcon Flyer, read somewhere that it is illegal to fly flight level 290 and above without the autopilot. Uh, apparently it's not illegal. It, it is illegal from far as I know without certain types of equipment on board because you're in the RVSM altitudes at that point. But from what I'm hearing from Captain Tim, there's no altitude you don't you, that you have to use the autopilot. It just doesn't make much sense not to. It's, it's got to be functioning. Yeah. And that's probably what they mean. It probably says it has to be functioning. It doesn't have to be on, but it has to be. It has to be available. Uh, altitude. <laughs> well, they won't engage but uh, below 400 feet anyway, generally for most aircraft. So you could you could try to have it on, but it's not going to do anything. <laughs> Unless you're in a, unless you're in an auto land situation. What's the 1990 contact? Mini center on 133.45. Mini center on 133.45. West 1990. Thanks. 
2469, contact Mary Officer at 133. Mini Center, West Wind 1990 with you, flight level 280. West Wind 1990, Mini Apple for the Roger, good evening. Um, are we gonna go up? I don't know. Are you gonna tell them? I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a second to take a look at us and then see. Well, 2469, Minneapolis, Senator Roger, good evening. No need for the position report, you're on the radar hand. That would be easy to help. You didn't have one on the radar hand, though. I'll stay again for Mountain 2469. Mountain 2469, understand, flight level 360. When you check in from a radar handoff, you do not need to give us your position. I'll roger that. One twenty nineteen ninety clear direct to Camaro resume the module for your item. Uh what was the Camaro? Oh, Camaro. All right, what's the nineteen ninety clear direct Camaro? We'll resume the muscle three arrival. Nineteen ninety. So I don't think they're going to climb us up at this point. We're probably too close. Uh, let's see. What was that? This is at high discretion to flight level 240. Yeah, so you got rid of the flight plane? No, I just got rid of the in in between points. We're going to pass Welco and go direct Camaro. We're here 3630 contact from the Apple Center. You have to you have to delete them instead of just line selecting and moving them up, which is kind of annoying. Because if you try to move it up like that, you just end up clicking on the waypoint and so it should start to turn right about now. Why are we wait? Why are we not in nav mode? Okay, and okay, it doesn't like that. Fine. It wants us to be on intercept course. There we go. Minneapolis Center Delta six seven four five zero three six zero fifty six in the southeast of Los Angeles. I'm not we got a discontinuity. What the snot is it doing? Uh, I don't have a discontinuity on mine. I just have a... Yeah, that showed direct Camaro. Oh, and now it's gone. What the heck? Now there's a discontinuity. What the heck? Oh, on my screen there was a discontinuity. I cleared it, and the nav thing showed up. Yeah, it might have just been because of the different. Maybe something wasn't syncing between our two, and so it went, what the heck are you trying to do? Let's see, now, there we go. Now Nav's holding it on. Okay. All right, let's uh, look at our uh, muscle three here. So we're direct Camaro at the moment. Uh, we need to cross Camaro at or above flight level 240, so that's not a problem. And he hasn't given us a descend via, just said um, continue the muscle three, so. How far away are we from Camaro anyway? Oh, a ways, okay. Let's see if we can get 320. I was just calling you to ask for that. What's the 1990? Roger. Climb maintain 320. <laughs> That's awesome. Coincidence? Apple, right? Apple. That's funny. Probably watching the street. Probably. <laughs> All right. So Camaro at above 240. Uh, German at 280 knots at above 220. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, muscle at above 17,000 and uh, 280 knots. Uh, bakes at above 12,000 and 280 knots. And then we're going to get down to the split here. If we're doing the 12s, uh, we should be going to Loon at or above 11. 
Uh, Wordbury at or above 10 and 250 knots. And then uh, Zasky at or above 9,000. At that, at Zasky is where we will split, depending on whether they're going to give us the left or the right runway. I would imagine it would make more sense for us to go on to the uh, the left, which would put us to uh, Camo, um at 8,000 and 230 knots. And our final waypoint on the uh, arrival would be Cause, uh, Charlie oh, Oscar. Oh, oh, uh, no, we had no restrictions about the previous sector, 990. Yeah, thanks. Uh, the 20 radar contact re established 30 miles south of west of uh, Traverse City. down here and just make sure these jive with that German 22 oh other way 12,000 11,000 Woodbury 250 10,000 Zasky 9,000 and Camo 8,000 cause okay yep good Beautiful. Oh, the sun's going right in my eyes. Nice. <laughs> Cue the sunglasses. David, where'd you get the checklist? From me. Which I got it from... It's a... I think it's a Delta checklist from somewhere on the internet that I got. I think. Oh, okay. Because yeah. it'll... delineate between pilot flying and pilot not flying. Altitude. Yes, two things you have to wait and respond to. Yeah. Right. We'll I have think, to train David. I think it does. Um, let me pull it up and look at it for myself. Hey, yes, sir. Can we get a lower, sir? Come on, 2469, Only giving you hires, no lowers. Hey, down at 240, Mountain 2469. Does it say Captain and uh, First Officer? It does, okay. Not. Well, that's just that's who that's who's responding in those situations. So, uh, if it says depends for the, yeah, it depends on the mode of flight that you're in, whether it's pilot flying, pilot not flying, or captain and first officer. Yeah, I don't think it I don't think it distinguishes between those two. I think it just distinguishes between captain and co-pilot or first officer. Hmm. That particular one, anyway. Uh, in aviation, in aviation. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Uh, why don't you? I said Ion Aviation. <laughs> Ion, Ian, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've seen Ian spelled so many different ways. <laughs> Delta 20 T30 radar contact. Right back. M717, that's what we're looking for. Well, the Flying Moose project is well underway finally. Oh, fantastic. Be about two weeks. Nice. Uh, and you have no freaking clue. I, I don't. I have no clue. <laughs> I'm just excited to know what it will be. Some point. Uh, it's Captain. For, yeah, this one just. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It doesn't distinguish between. It just. Uh, although on the after takeoff checklist, it just gives the uh, uh, what the response should be, and so I think that's implied that it's the pilot not flying there. Uh, pushback is all back and forth. Four takeoff checklist is back and forth. Climb checklist is both. Descent checklist. Oh, no, it does. So, yeah, so, and then the descent, it really should just say pilot monitoring on the after takeoff checklist, but it actually gives the, um, the expected response. I mean, but on the descent checklist, the first half of the descent checklist is captain, first officer. The second half is pilot monitoring, pilot monitoring, pilot monitoring. 125.3, yeah. I have 17.25, good evening. 
And then approach checklist no, is, is both. Landing checklist is both. After landing, I'm is, is, I think it's assumed as pilot monitoring, and then and then shutdown checklist is everybody. So. Yeah, it's really impressive. Um, if you ever get in a commercial flight deck, and see us go through the the checklist, and if somebody responds in the non-approved verbiage, you stop and go, well, "Are you with us still?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just a real interesting uh, evolution. Yeah. So, David, how long to top of descent? How would I know? Well, you can look on the FMC. <laughs> now, can he change the scale on his... Uh... On his ND? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. I wonder if he's got radar. Yeah, I guess he's got TCAS and radar up. Yeah. Find it? Well, uh, I'm just going to tell you that's in 83 miles because I cannot find when. Uh, well, I'm showing it's actually in about 180 miles, but. <laughs> What we got? How many? How many miles? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. About 160. A little less now, actually. It's probably about 150 miles. Um, on the, let me see where it has it on the thing. Here. Oh wait, Progress. no, that is actually. Wait, no, that is actually the. Uh, Mini amplification mountain time. one, flight level three two zero. Estimated time is zero zero forty three. Now there is zero zero one amplification roger. On the, what are you? Where are you looking right now? Top of the sun on the flight uh, line. Actually, I don't have a. I don't show a time. Oh, estimated time. Well, wow, that's just. Wait, what is that time is telling me? Is that actually. 41. That's the time. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, estimated time. It should, it should be happening right at uh, uh, Camaro. Right, basically. Yeah, if you look at the, if you look at your NAD display, David, you'll see that it's called the hockey stick with the arrow down. Yeah, right at. That's the TOD. Yeah, if you zoom out your uh, your ND display, you'll see it at about a, just just inside 160 nautical miles. Was that last for Mountain One? Yeah, it's a Mountain Air zero zero one. If you have leading zeros in your call sign, that needs to be stated as part of your call sign, sir. If you want to be Mountain 1, you just need to remove those leading zeros. So that has to be part of your call sign. If somebody else can log into the words of Mountain 1 without the leading zeros... So David, you should be one. looking at systems. Uh, just a heads up, I want to verify... Uh, especially your at the top of descent, uh, uh, whether Moose is going to want any ice as he goes through the clouds and things like that. Um, you should think about, uh, A, is he going to actually want that, and B, how you're going to... Uh, find the switches and everything for that. So you kind of start thinking ahead of the airplane a little bit. Think about what's yeah, coming up uh, next. Mountain zero zero you're going to have an impact on. My altitude, there was a problem. Welcome back, Kevin. I'm back up, climbing back up to 320. Okay, Mountain zero zero 001, Roger. Thank you. I'll have war for you in about three minutes. Just getting home from being out with mom and dad. Went out to dinner today. Oh, nice, Kelsey. Where'd you go out to dinner? Hey, Kelsey, bring us a doggy bag. <laughs> well played. Well played. I never noticed that Kelsey was a four striper. Yeah. Yeah, she cool. just got that uh, pretty recently, too, I think. Just to start calling her Captain. I know, all right? Captain Kelsey. Sure, a lot easier to fly in the 727, eh? I know, right? <laughs> 
Minneapolis. Less chance of me uh, overshooting the border, too. <laughs> Welcome to Calgary. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I bought a doggy bag home for me tomorrow night. Nice. Cellos, huh? I've never or cellos. Not sure how you pronounce that, but never heard of that place. I don't know what that is. He's a hockey player for the Blackhawks. I don't think that's where they ate dinner, though. <laughs> we went to his house. Did you go over to Lake? I think so. Oh, oh, yeah, maybe not. Or we're See, don't go to an exterior. It's probably going to screw up your... Uh, I know. I know. Well, there's a known kind of glitch with the 717 anyway, and so I, I'm, that's why I'm specifically not doing that. Uh, there's a Maybe. body of water there, but I don't think that's the... That's land, otherwise. Hmm, okay. Although I can... I can check this way. I have the technology. Oh yeah, we're just on the other side. Good evening, Minneapolis Times at Delta, uh, 2710. The, miles the body of water I'm seeing is uh, Lake uh, Winnebago or whatever. Good evening, Winnebago. Winnebago, sure. Right between Green, right, we're flying right between Green Bay and uh, Lake Winnebago, basically. Yeah, if you ever go up to Oshkosh, you'll love that lake. Yeah, I see Oshkosh is right there. Right on the uh, right on the edge there. Oshkosh, Oshkosh, bagosh. Any other Roger, you need it. Uh, took some cold medicine. Since I got home, hopefully it works for me because the rest of my this weekend I need to be. Yeah, that stinks to be sick when you got a thing like you want to be bringing the poster. Face paint the whole nine yards. <laughs> well, that's the Mountain zero zero one. Yeah. Found that post <laughs> Final discretion two four zero 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 one. Yeah, so actually Oshkosh is like uh, right there, I believe. Hey, David? Yes? Do you have the Navigraph charts, um, EFP? Uh, I have the Navigraph charts, EFP. He just means oh, it. Oh, that's the you know, try and flag bag. Yeah, he, that. yeah, he just, basically, do you have the charts? <laughs> Cursor actually appeared. Right. Was that an affirmative or negative? It was an affirmative. affirmative. Okay, you've got the muscles um, star up. I've got yeah. the muscles. <laughs> Don't make me get my credit. <laughs> I couldn't resist. As, as the airplane descends on that star, part of the thing you're going to do as pilot monitoring is make sure that he's coming up to those crossing restrictions at her the altitude specified and at the speed specified, so that's that's part of the things you're gonna have to monitor. Swifty Star, hello, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Yeah, Kevin, that just makes me think of that movie. I never saw it, but it just makes me think of that movie Pixel. Like you just see a big giant cursor coming down, like a UFO, and running in terror. <laughs> about 100 nautical miles from uh, Camaro, so just about that from, uh, I think top of the sense, basically a mile beyond Camaro. So essentially the same thing. So hopefully he'll give us a descend via the star around that time. Uh, he might give you something earlier than that. But, he he uh, may. Yeah, Camaro's got the restriction at or above flight level 240. Yeah. That's just where our top of the sense happens to start for the calculated. If I was in a video game, I'd be scared every time the cursor clicks me. <laughs> yeah. 
Pretty much. Swifty Star, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Since you're, uh, I think you're just joining us, um, we're I'll actually doing a uh, shared cockpit here with uh, David Rothmuller. So he's in my uh, FO seat over there. Although you can't see him, he is invisible, but he's, he's there in his sim. And uh, so he's uh, acting as the pilot monitoring. I'm the pilot flying. I would squeal. <laughs> You gotta do like the Pillsbury Doughboy when it clicks you, like, ha <laughs> also, uh, they need an airspeed right now, please. You do that far so well. I know. Cause I'm built like the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> you and me both. Okay, Roger, thanks. Uh, maintain, uh, it's okay, we're all invisible to moves. <laughs> it's true, you're just, you're just little, uh, little names on a chat screen. Out in the hintersphere. Well, some of us are mental oh, pictures, too. That's true. Yeah, I, ha yeah, I have met mountain. some of you. That's true. With a lot or sound. Dun, dun. We are really boxes. <laughs> Actually, Minneapolis isn't that busy. No, I was looking at the uh, Project Fly radar. It's not looking that bad yet. Uh, we're actually uh, getting, uh, we're about 80 miles or so from top of descent, so we're not that far uh, far away from our destination. Uh, we didn't, it's not a terribly long flight we're doing tonight, it's only about an hour and 20 in the air. We took it off from uh, uh, K-Lan, which is uh, Lansing uh, Capital Airport. Capital City. Capital City, thank you. And uh, we're doing a... Uh, like a fan charter for those wanting to watch the uh, Michigan State Spartans uh, square off against uh, the Texas uh, somethings. What are they? Put? That's right. Four five four zero. And uh, the final four. So yeah, it'll be interesting. It will. By the way, that's why I was late. I was setting up the airplane for tomorrow morning. Nice. Where I'll be doing DuPage, Lansing, Lansing, Flying Cloud. Uh, descend via pilot's discretion to uh, 240, 1990. Alright, so we got our discretion well, down to down to uh, 240, so we'll wait till we hit our top descent and then we'll just call let them know we're going down at that point. Now 2612, change 240. Uh, David just did. Um, yeah. So David, let me change it, and then you verify that I got the right one in there. Okay. And then, yeah. Yeah. Anything that's going to make the airplane move, pitch, yaw, change altitudes, whatever, that should be the pilot flying doing that. You've got systems. You get to play performer. And technically, you should also be doing the ATC comms. Yeah. We just haven't figured out how to make that as smooth with the uh, with the comms and flying the thing yet. So. Now twice well. Transition at two eight zero knots. Conway at two twenty one Minneapolis hundred two. See, I'd be a pain to fly with in a shared cockpit. Delta twenty eight fifteen reduce speed to two five zero. Actually, I am a pain. <laughs> <laughs> What is it like you, you like to say? Sometimes you just got to put on the hat and remind them who they're dealing with. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm putting zero, zero, one. I'm still looking forward to the expo. One, three, five, four, oh, I know. Three. Me too. Highlight of my year. 25.3 for about zero, zero, one. Well, that's kind of sad. Huh. <laughs> ah. A highlight of my year, I'll put it that way. Well, now that I think about it, it's kind of highlight of mine, too. <laughs> so we can be sad together. Uh, Sorry about it. That's right. Uh, you going to live stream expo? So I, uh, I'm I'm trying to figure out if I can. I'm at, my goal is to, to do some stuff. Yeah, I want to I use my phone. I was watching some other guys do it last year, and so I'm, I'm going to be doing some experiments with it. 
and uh, see if I can get that all set up so I can do some some live from the expo stuff because I'd like to do that. That'd be really cool. Um, just kind of show you guys what you're missing out by not coming. But uh, yeah. Plus, then we can get yep. some of the uh, we can get some live action of uh, me and Tim heckling the the speakers from the back yeah, really. <laughs> from the peanut gallery. <laughs> Two men having too much fun. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I hope the crazy Aussies are, are back again. I do too. They were they're very entertaining. I gotta tell you that. What was that guy? He was talking about like hopping across the Pacific in some tiny little, some tiny hey, little uh, thing, wasn't he? Uh, uh, God, um, out of Duluth, the uh, what's the R twenty two? Yeah. What's that called? The Cirrus. Cirrus, yeah. Yeah, flew a Cirrus across. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> The cabin had that big gas tank. Yeah. Right. Thirteen percent out of five hundred three four zero. Contacting the Apple Center one three five point three. Good night. That's just craziness. Who's uh, who's Corey Ford? Hey Corey, whoever you are, hello. Well, I know he's just saying I'd like to say hi to Corey Ford. I, I don't think he's here. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe he's someone who's going to Expo. Oh, he's a Quality Wings guy. Okay. The president of Quality Wings. Gotcha. I talked to the head of PMDG. Yes, you did. Randazzo himself. I even has a business card. <laughs> I just hope they screw up their uh, video again. I know. That was funny. Hey, if there's a bird involved, we know it's not going to be any good. Free bird. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was too funny. Yeah, that whale took the runway about four or five times. Exactly. Everyone was like, ooh, ah, every time. <laughs> it's a 747. Yes, they're known for that. It's nothing new. That whale, yeah, T-21, that's not that pilot. What was hilarious about that whole thing is that whole oh, intro video did nothing for the setup for what they were going to announce either. So, 125.3. Thanks, we'll see you. 1990. Right, that you can change. Well, 26 small contact me up on center 125.3. Minneapolis Center, Westwood 1990, with you, flight level 320. Westwood 1990, Minneapolis Center, Roger. Delta 2815, I can barely read you. You're coming extremely quiet. Can you try uh, just using text for now? Hoping to sleep tonight. I haven't been sleeping good at night. Do not be able to breathe. Yeah, that that's the... Those calls are the worst when you're, like, all plugged up, so you... That, those, those ones are terrible. When you, when you finally can sleep normally again, it's, like, the most blissful thing in the world. But, but when you're struggling with that, it sucks. I hear you. Delta 2815, uh, descend via the killer tree of runway 1 to right to trend, except maintain a 250 knot until CMAC. The killer arrival? Yeah, killer. Yeah. It's from the south, east, or southwest. Gotcha. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, like I was saying, it, it just found it funny that video did nothing for the setup for what they were going to announce. It was just like a bird and a 747 taking off, and it was like, yeah, we're PMDG. And like, yeah, we know. <laughs> but they took, it kept goofing up, and they insisted on showing it, so they just kept trying. It got a little farther every time. We're all thinking, we're we're all thinking it was going to be part of some elaborate like reveal, and it never was. And we're just like, why did you insist on doing that? Well, right. Yeah, it was like the high school AV club up there. Oh, it was. Oh, it was so funny. And we weren't helping the situation. Nope. Nope, we're not. Well, lucky for their sake, we were sitting as far back as we were. Over 2815, uh, maintain your present airspeed. Um, at the uh, expo last year, Falcon Flyer, when PMDG did their um, their talk, 
uh, their presentation in the, the main ballroom there. Uh, they had a video they tried to play at the very beginning. They did finally successfully play it, but it took them about four or five times before it played all the way through. And uh, and it was just funny that they spent so much time trying to play this video that really had no bearing on what they were going to announce. They were announcing the Global Flight Operations and their their bug program, which was the, the, the bugs in the windshield thing. But none of that was relayed in the video at all. So it was like, it was really just like a PMDG intro video. It was fairly simple. It was like a, a, a 747 taxiing onto the runway. A bird kind of flies by. I think a bolt of lightning in the background goes, and the thing takes off, and it says PMDG. It was like that. And it was like, ooh, ah, but again, if it's not going to work, it's not the end of the world. We all know who you are. We're all the, – the ballroom at that point is filled because it's PMDG. The, their, their presence alone – uh, draws the crowd. No, no intro video is needed. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, is uh, uh, Leonardo uh, Mad Dog X going to be there? I don't know. I haven't seen. I have to look at the latest list. I haven't. I haven't looked at the uh, list of uh, of guests uh, recently. Uh, we got. Uh, yeah, we got a little. Yeah, I'm not going to do it right now because someone else wants to pull it up and check. Uh, Flightsimexpo.com, I believe it is. Mountain one contact me approach one three five point four seven. Thanks for the help of the speed. Well, the big the big reveal actually was a a pretty big thing. It just everyone was hoping it was going to be an aircraft, and so it was kind of a let down. Oh. Convoy two twenty one. Not let that happen. Just in case. Runway one two right to transit. So I mean, the big reveal is is big depending on how you see it. It's 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 cool and it was it's it's a pretty epic undertaking. Uh, but it, you know, everything, everyone really just wanted to see they were going to be launching another aircraft, <laughs> and they didn't get that satisfaction. This is cool, by the way. You got the sun setting right here, illuminating the moon right there, a little sliver. It's a pretty cool shot. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, I, boy, I'm not sure who you're. Oh, the Mad Dog X thing. Maybe that who you're referring to. Yeah, Leonardo is the company that uh, produced the the Mad Dog, the the one that I fly. Well, Dream Team was there too, which was nice. Uh, yeah, Dream Team was there. Um, uh, Flight it's Beam was there. There was a there were a lot of people there actually last year. And it's kind of cool to put the bug in their ear, telling them what, hey, what's right, what's wrong with their product. Right. It's a really, I mean, it's a cool chance to kind of, uh, in 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 one sense, do a little bit of. You know, quasi networking because you're gonna be able to face to face say, "Hey, I've been having this problem," and really explain it and say, "Hey, are do you guys aware of this?" Because I was able to bring that. In fact, um, was it? No, that was uh, two years ago with Explain. I was in the. Uh, um, uh, they did a they did a Q and A form with uh, Explain. X, what was it? Explain, uh, uh, Dovetail at the time because they were still in the ball game at that point, and um, P3D uh, Lockheed, and uh, I put in a random question just because you could sl submit slips of paper to do these questions, and mine was like the last one that got picked, and I was surprised because no one was ever talking about it. When people would back then in X plane, when you when you went outside the plane, the ground like was like shaking all the time. It was like this weird shake shimmer thing. And they're all touting x Plane 11. I'm going, this just looks really bad. What is this? And I couldn't find anyone talking about it. So I submitted the questions, asked them about it. And when that question got asked, like the entire room erupted with, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, what? like no one realized what this was. And it ended up they had a they, they were realizing that it was a problem and they need to fix it. But it was kind of cool just to be like, wow, I don't even fly x Plane. And I just like, like rocked the room with this question apparently <laughs> that apparently was a big deal underground that no one was really talking about, which is kind of weird. But. It was it was really funny, but it's a cool chance to be able to you know talk to these guys about that and just be able to say hey what's what's going on with this I'm struggling I'm having trouble with this is there a fix is is your paint kit coming out sometime this century you know I kept bugging TFDI about their paint kit for the longest time because it was just waiting and waiting and waiting, but um, so yeah. Are we gonna start us in? Uh, we'll be in just a moment here.
Yeah, it's just just after camo is when it should take uh, Camaro rather. This one should take over. All right, so I'm making the turn. Mountain 2612, contact at Minneapolis Approach 135.47. <coughs> Have a great day. Oh. Mountain 2612, 135.47. Good night. Any second now. Should watch those throttles roll back. There it goes. As soon as he's done talking. Mr. Quiet Man over there. Delta 1687, Minneapolis Center. Kalima maintained, flight level 390. Mini Center, West 1 1990 is uh, descending now out of uh, 320 for 240. West 1 1990 via the Muscle 3 arrival, runway 12 left transition to Minneapolis altimeter 3000. Able to send via the muscle three arrival, uh, one uh, one two left transition, and three zero 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 for the uh, altimeter. Night ninety. I don't think I can change that until I get actually below there. Can't set up ahead of time. That one two left. Uh, one two left, which is what we were hoping for. So we're actually already set up correctly for it. Do minimums real quick. Uh, yeah. If you want to pull those up and get them in there, that'd be great. Minimums for the ILS are one zero four one. One zero four one. Okay. So one zero forty will be close enough. All right. Set my side. That mindset. Okay. All right. So we have a speed restriction at uh, at German, and our first uh, uh, real crossing restriction because they're all at or above until we get to well, they're all at or above really until we get to to Camo, which is at eight thousand. So it's going to be making sure we're not dipping below the the at or aboves and then uh, maintaining the 280 speed restrictions all the way up until uh, Woodbury which is a 250 speed restriction then uh, Camo at a 230 knot restriction and 8000 uh, takes what on oh the MD-11 yeah no I would I would be happy if either one of those companies did it I'd, it would be really fantastic to have a uh, uh, a, a newer version of the uh, the MD-11. That'd be great. That's a Monday night run on my birthday when I came to hometown last year. <laughs> nice. <coughs> on your birthday. That's awesome. Uh, did he, was he a pilot or did he like, like a mechanic or loading, whatever? Like what was his role with the, with the aircraft? Oh, an engineer. Okay, cool. Delta 1678, contact Minneapolis Center, 133.45. 133.45, 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this down to 8,000 since we're clear down to the muscle. All the way down. So you just verify 8,000 in the box. David? I thought that was his job. No, no, I put it in, you verify. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, 8,000. It's a two, two man job. It's a checks and balances. <laughs> uh -huh. I say there's no mark for redeeming the MD11. announces their GFO bars. Yeah, I haven't heard anything on their GFO stuff in a while now. I would imagine they'll be uh, given a some kind of report at uh, Expo. And that may be what they're waiting for, just to... Yeah, I heard something... Well, yeah, no, you're right. In their... What was it? Their February release? They kind of they kind of made a rele uh, information about a number of things, including where they were with GFO and uh, just that there was some big things happening behind the scenes with that that were coming soon to some regard. I mean, typical PMDG uh, uh, vagueness, you know, you just never really know what they're doing until it comes out. Yeah, I, I think there's a market for the MD-11. I don't. I, I can't imagine that it's. Uh, um, I mean, you get so many people talking about it that that loved it, and the only reason they don't use it anymore is because they, the sim, you know, got beyond what that particular aircraft was capable of working on. So, I mean, I had that aircraft. I loved it. It was great. Envoy two twenty one contact Minneapolis approach one three five point four seven. All right, so muscle, we've got the uh, 17,000 at or above, which we should be fine. We're at 23 at the moment. Mouth the Roti MD11. Yeah, exactly. Well, and that'll really kind of show, I mean, I think if the Rotate MD11 does as well as it looks like it probably will, um, you would think there would be quite a market for it. Now, what's what's probably slowly starting to happen um, to a degree, and I'm, I'm watching this with streamers, is they're starting to cross platform. So they'll do, they'll get the aircraft, you know, and, and, and that's what kind of forced me to do Westwind it. Westwind 1990, Oops. contact Minneapolis approach 135.47. Great night. Over approach 135.47 for Westman 990. You have a great night, too. Thanks, 990. Me 15, contact Minneapolis approach 119. Cut you off early. Uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> How dare you? 19.3. Yeah, they're getting quite a line now for uh, Victor 3638. Vectors, I also have my 1 2 left approach. Vectors, left, so Victor, and, 30, 30, turn left, heading 050. Left zero, zero. Approach west. Northwest 1999, contact. Northwest 1999, contact Minneapolis, approach 126.9 or 5, good night. Can't get a word in edgewise. Oh, one, two, three, 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 nine, nine, nine. That's my 1990 Minneapolis approach. Information Oscar current, expect ILS from my 1 2 left approach. We'll check information Oscar and we'll plan 1 2 left approach. 1990. Alright, information Probably Oscar the, uh, is uh, yeah, wind 070 seven zero at 5, 6 mile visibility in haze, overcast 2300, temperature 11, uh, 2. 0. 6, altimeter 3000. Zero, zero, and we're planning one two left. Almost from 1990. Uh, after that, the uh, it'll be a three zero zero heading. After what? Oh, right oh, Zasky. Right oh, Regular thirty six, but heading three six zero. That was for Westwood 990, right? The Zesty three zero zero. 
Watch his leadership gear over here. I think it's 30. I'm gonna ask him. Northwest 2430, contact me. It's like someone else responded to him. 26.5. 26.5 Just want to verify for Westwood 1990 after Zasky heading 300. Westwood 1990, affirmative. Copy that, 1990. Alright. Um, anyway, so what I was saying is, uh, you know, a lot of people I'm seeing are starting to, to, to cross platform only because, you know, I really want to fly the the old school 727 or the Flight Factor 77, but I've got all my PMDG or my uh, uh, PMDG aircraft that I want to fly on prepared, and and so as those sims, you know, they're the nice thing is they're not both really expensive. You know, one of them is a little bit heavier on the expense. X plane isn't, so it makes it actually kind of not that hard to own both. <laughs> If they were both like two hundred dollars sims and required all these add-ons to, to run that all were payware, uh, I can see it being more of a problem. But uh, X plane is a little easier to get into, so if you're already established on P3D, it's it's not that hard to kind of slough over an X plane a little bit and, and dabble. So. And most we've passed eighteen thousand. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, thank you. Minneapolis Road Delta twenty seven eight two Torque three one two right with Oscar. Alright, 300 set on my side. 772, many outs approach. You're probably good to start flipping on landing right. lights and getting things organized. Yeah, that's true. You can put the landing lights on at this point, uh, David. Leave the taxi light off, but landing lights can come on. Get your speeds calculated. That way, all this this routine stuff is out of the way when you start getting vectors and speed yeah. restrictions and everything. Delta thirty six thirty one. These are the things that make you get by uh, Right. All right. So it looks like uh, our uh, speeds are going to be one four three for approach and VREF one three eight with flaps forty. So that is what we will plan on. It's flaps forty landing. And we don't have speed brakes, in the, or no, uh, auto brake rather, uh, one zero now. in this, so we don't have to worry about that. Left wing, 1990, maintain 210 now. Hang on a second. 210 uh, knots for a 1990. Stand by. Envoy 221, maintain 230 knots. Yeah, I'm sure it's just for sequencing. An override for 210. Um, contact Minneapolis approach 19.3. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna set 300 yeah, zero zero in the box there. You're saying you put an on voice like that. 2612. Yeah. Contact Minneapolis approach. Yeah. You stay away from Central uh, US. 119.3. Yeah. See, I can't imagine why. 119.3, <laughs> Minneapolis. Uh, uh, Mountain 2612. No, speed brakes are not armed. It, uh, when it looks like this, that's armed. Dex 29, are we clear to descend uh, farther than 11,000 on their rifle? Dex uh, 79, uh, negative, maintain 11,000 for now. Maintain 11,000, clear for some action. On your fuel cutoff switches, I'm off to on. <laughs> Just to make sure they're working, you know. I hear that's a good strategy. It works especially well when you're in Albuquerque airspace. Just look it out. That's right. <laughs> good way to slow the airplane down. It is. It is. It's a guaranteed way to slow it down. Fire handles are not on either, yeah, exactly. 
And David, go ahead and give me slats. And a seatbelt sign go on too if it's not right. 1990, change your runway one right, one two right. Ow. Uh, turn left heading uh, 210, vector to final. Uh, 210, vector to final now for runway one two right, West 1990. Thirty-six, thirty. Contact Minneapolis approach. One one nine point three. Altitude. Event. Where are you going? <laughs> you call it autopilot. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> Set it to go to turn three. to turn over there, and it starts turning that way. Southwest sixteen fourteen. Minneapolis approach. Expect ILS from me once you're in approach. Wind out. Fly it yourself. Expecting the ILS once you were at Tesla 1614. Um, I do want the. No, no, no. Just. Just that off. There we go. Autopilot. Autopilot. Approach expect the ILS once you're at approach. Expect the ILS once you're at approach. We don't have an altitude restriction, do we? Uh, 8,000 was the last one we had. Me... Seven, nine, heavy turn, heavy I'm gonna nine, ask him three, see what he wants zero, to do. Approach Russell 1990 now that we're uh, being vectored. What uh, altitude do you want us to send to? Russell 1990, defend and maintain at 900,000. 900,000 for 1990, thank you. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I know. You're slowing down there. I know. Auto throttle's catching up. David, this would probably be a good time to uh, set up the uh, tower in. The uh, com for Boston 1990 turn right, right heading 260. 260 for 1990. Gotta figure out which tower we're going to. Uh, how many are there? Two. Well, what are they labeled as? North and south. Uh, well, we'll technically, now that we're on uh, the right runway, we'll, we'll be on the south. 300. Trying to maintain 7,000. Zero zero, I'm not heading. I'm I'm seven thousand. 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 A ground frequency, and and when he switches, when he gets switched to tower, you should, he should plug in twenty one nine or whatever it is, so you're ready to go to ground when you clear the runway. You guessed it. All right, let's see if this will play nice now. You got some checklists to be running. Yeah, give me Press the. the uh, yeah, give me the approach and the... Yeah, approach checklist, please. I'll just to send checklist as well. Altimeters? Uh, set 3000, zero, 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 my side. Set on my side. Minimums? Uh, we need to actually verify uh, new minimums for 1, 2, right. If you can pull that up. New minimums are 1042. 1042, okay. It's close to what they were. So 2772, turn left, heading 330, 7000. Landing data? Uh, we're left confirming three, that right now, stand by. down to 7000, delta 2772. Uh, what was our... Uh, we're way past that now, so let's see here. Come on. Zasky's kind of our... Uh, 
Delta 2732, contact meeting up approach 126.9 or 5. 26, 27732. Okay. Is that, is that doing what I think it's doing? Yes, it is. Good, okay. All right, uh, yeah, landing data we do have now. Um, stand by. Let me pull it back up here real quick. Uh, v approach 143, V ref 138 yeah, will be uh, approach, flaps 40. Good evening, Delta 1365, descending through. 10, information officer. Uh, we're going to be landing on uh, one two, well, the one two approach, right now after uh, a slight change. Right. Uh, correction, uh, stand by one second. IOS one two left. Delta um, localizer frequency for that is one ten point three. Our MSA is going to be uh, twenty eight hundred feet. Uh, runway heading one two one, and minimums like you said already are uh, one two four zero for the localizer. Actually, it's 1042. It's 1042 for this one. Where did you get your minimums from? <laughs> I said 1042. Oh, did you? I heard 102 something for some reason. I just dyslexic hearing, apparently. All right. 1040. So, okay, anyway, um, so I'm glad we confirmed that. Uh, uh, so, this is pilot monitoring now. So, hydraulic, hydraulic panel is set. Okay. That's when 1990 resume normal speed. Resume normal speed, 1990. And seatbelt sign is on, so... Set checklist complete, approach checklist, Oops, no. flight and nav instruments. Are set. Do you verify the uh, nav frequencies for the uh, localizer? Yeah. And the FMC? I am going to check that in just a second. Actually, can you check and see if it's got it in there already on the nav radio page? Uh, 110.5, I think it was. 110.3. Oh, so, Sorry, 110.3. So oh, it is then. Yeah, it is. Just cruise. Does it have the. Course is course. on there. Alright, let's put that. 110.3, oh, and it should be. Uh, 121. Maintain 230 now. Southwest 1614. Did that change it on your side? Uh, let me see. That's turn right heading 280. Uh, what was the course for 1990? Oh. 280. 280 for 1990, thanks. Delta 2772, contact me at 126.9 or 5. 280, confirm. Confirm. And uh, 110, 30, 121, my side. Delta 1365, yep. contact me at 119.3. Alright, cabin notification. 1930, Delta 1365. Notified. Uh, 21 contact me up approach 126.9 or 5. Seatbelt signs are on, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, good. Atometers. Oops, don't do that. Found that. There we go. Uh, altimeters are 3000 still, my side. 300, my side. Okay. Left wing 1990, descend to maintain 8000, turn right heading 300. Down to 8000 and over to 300, 1990. And approach proofing complete. 8,300, check. Uh, check. Altitude. Up to 1990, contact Minneapolis, approach 1, 2.9 or 5. Uh, 1, 2, 6. Oh, 1, 2, 6, yeah. Uh, over to approach 126.9 or 5 for Western 990. Approach Westwood 1990 with you out of 8,400 for 8,000. Altitude. Western 1990, Minneapolis approach is head maintained 6,000. Say 2,000? 6,000. Say maintain 6,000, 1990. Glad you could hear that. Delta 2772, six miles from Waze, and maintain 5,000. We'll establish on the localizer. Could I let you only one two-point approach? Maintain present speed. 6,000 verified. Thank you. 5,000 tells that was clear. I, uh, Tomorrow's Jazz's birthday. Nice, Golson. I wish him a happy birthday for me. I'm going to 21, turn right heading 030. 030. Uh, just descending through this soup. 
the moment. No, 2772, reduce speed to 190. Reduce speed 190, that's 2772. Minneapolis first, 2057, 7000, 2057, Minneapolis approach, turn 10 degrees left, and 17, 6, 7, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 
on my uh, PFD, I do not have a glide slope indication yet. Southwest 1614, turn right heading 030. Stabilizer motion. Right 030, Southwest 1614. We're, on, we're not on the coast or something yet. Southwest 1997 miles from Wave, maintain 5000. Right. Southwest on the localizer, clear ILS, runway 12 right approach, maintain 100 knots. Did you miss it? Did I miss what? Uh, our clearance for the ILS. Oh, yeah, I did. Thank over you. 2057, they hit 170 knots until pins over pins contact tower 166.7. We can't see this. West way 1995 miles from Laza, maintain 5,000 volt average on the localizer, clear ILS, runway 1 right and approach, maintain 190 knots. Maintain 5,000 until established on the localizer and maintain 190 uh, knots, 1990. This guy's in my way. Keep an eye on that traffic. Stabilizer motion. Tablet 1614 flighting 090 to wing, wing 1 to right localizer. Heading 090, join the localizer. Hey David, you going to watch uh, Moose when he enters, like, the speeds and the headings and things in? Yeah, he's been watching pretty good so far. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I gotta there. verify that you did 132. Alright, All right, we got uh, Loka Glide Slope capture now. We'll set the runway heading 121. Southwest 1614, 7 miles from Waze. So going to Charlie 9, right? What was that? Charlie 9, yeah. Alright, 5,000 until established on the localizer. Clear to ILS 12 right approach, maintain 190 knots until the ILS 1614. Why is it sending us? We're above the localizer. Classway 1990, maintain 170 knots until Kins, over Kins, contact is 6.7. 170 until Kins, and then at that point, contact tower 126.7, 990. The Apple Status information, go back to 120 at 6 altimeter 3000. Information, Quebec is, uh, let's see, 120 at 6 knots, 6 mile visibility haze, 2300 broken, 15,000, uh, temperature 9, 2.6, altimeter 3000. And go ahead and give me the next notch of flaps, please. Flaps 18. Thank you. Minneapolis approach, good evening, Sussan Dragon 1, 5,000. And you got that uh, frequency ready to go in there? 1, 2, 6, 7, yeah. Dragon 1, Minneapolis approach, Roger. Southwest 1614, reduce speed to 170 until Kins, over Kins, contact tower 126.7. 170 to Kins at Kins, contact tower 126.7, Southwest 1614, great work, thanks. Gave you 170 to the marker, did he? 170 to Kins. So, basically. <laughs> Yeah. All right, go ahead and uh, switch your frequencies, David. Forty-five, turn right, heading two one five two fifteen. Contact the parking today. Tower West One Nineteen. Contact departure. Right, wait forever to respond. That was for Coast Guard 2345, turn right, right turn please, heading 215, in contact departure. So respond. 215 on the heading, and in contact departure for Coast Guard 2345. That's when we need that codec. Flaps, please. West 1990, Minneapolis, Landing gear. 120, Landing gear. 1 2 right, clear to land, West 1990. Landing gear, please. Landing gear. Wanna put the gear down? Yeah, please. 
And give me full, give me full flaps, forty. Landing gear. All right, you're extended. All right. Landing checklist. Uh, landing checklist, please. Landing gear. Down three green. Flaps. Forty. Spoilers. Arm. And EAD. And green box. Alright, here we go. Clear to land. Let me turn that taxi light on. Yes, please. United 100, contact departure. 1000. Uh, departure 124.7, United 100. Minneapolis Tower, Southwest 1614, Kim. Oh, those lights out there looks like a thunderstorm at the airport. <laughs> I know, right? A multicolored thunderstorm. Tower four miles behind the 717, wind 206. Runway 1, 2 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 1, 2 right, number 2, Southwest 1614. Getting a little choppy. Four hundred. Uh, come on, work yourself out. Approaching minimums. Two hundred. We pass minimums. <laughs> I'll continue. They're very low. One hundred. So approaching minutes, and I never said minimums, but okay. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten, five. There we go. Landing. Call 80 knots, please. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. Left wing 19, okay. nine, left turn, ground point niner, traffic 2 miles final. Good day. Left turn, ground point niner. West of 99, good day. Okay, well, I was thinking we could make that. We are not stopping fast enough. Shoot, okay. We're gonna accelerate down to the next taxiway. Come on, stupid plane, move. So, apparently, half my panels shut off. Oh, that's nice. Like, all of your sides are on fine, and mine are just off. That's weird. Alright, we will make this turn. Alright, landing lights can come off. Flaps up, spoilers. Next, and uh, close that. And, uh, tune ground point nine, please. Ground west of 1990 is clear, runway 1 2 right. West of 1990, Roger, say parking. Charlie 9. He yeah, did kill the Roger, parking at Bravo Delta, Quebec. Bravo Delta, Quebec for 1990, thanks. Minus two feet per minute. All right, thanks, Project Fly. <laughs> now the fix was in. I guess. Tons of traffic. Yep, that's uh, Friday Night Ops for you. Alright, after landing checklist. Spoilers. Are up. 
Flaps and slats? Or down, I guess, actually. Yeah, okay, Flaps and slats are fully retracted. Push back. So, 2034, connect here instead of read 133 point view. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, that was oh, it. Okay. Yeah, make sure you say checklist complete, because otherwise I'm just waiting for the next thing. Oh, I was reading for, I thought you were still turning Wait, off your know. radar. Oh, no. Wait, did you... Did you say something about radar? Because I didn't hear that. Oh, after landing checklist, uh, good radar. Uh, you had to turn it off. Okay. Actually, it's down here. Do you know where you're going? Yes, kind of. Maybe. I did until I got distracted. Oh yeah, no, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm doing the right thing. I just got questioned me and it made me lose my confidence. The B taxi, what Bravo taxiway does this little dip. Then we go up here to Delta and then we'll take Quebec down. Charlie Niner. In fact, let me call up Charlie Niner now. Next, next, Charlie. Hopefully, he'll stay in the airplane. Hopefully. I would think his GSX isn't doing anything to us, which should be a problem. Should not be a problem. Well, if GSX was, like, moving the aircraft, I don't think it would work, but if otherwise, it'd be fine. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I think because we're not getting pushed back, I think we're okay. Forgetting that you have other scenery. What was that? Keep forgetting that you have. Uh, oh, you don't. You, yeah, you don't have Minneapolis. Okay. Yeah, where are we in your eyes? <laughs> in the dirt. Nice. In the dirt between Delta and whatever's next to Delta. Gotcha. It should be 422. Do you uh, customize the parking? Uh, no, but I've done Charlie 9 before. It's It should be fine. Although it will probably be the guy on the marshaller. I should do that to my, since I do Charlie and I all the time, I should change it. Did Delta just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright, here's Quebec. We'll make a right on Quebec. That's Skywest right there. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. He's, in, he's like partly invisible on my screen. Oh, uh, yeah. He's, he's got a delta tail, but you're right. It would be Skywest or Comair or whoever the, the carrier is. Um, when we get ready to turn into Charlie 9, go ahead and kill the taxi light. Okie dokie. I gotta say that one of these days. Okie dokie. <laughs> Probably the last word in the. <laughs> on the flight deck, okie dokie, and then everyone died. <laughs> that Delta Tail's not parked in my Charlie 9, is he? He might be. If I knew where that Delta 9 was. Oh, no, never mind. No, he's from Charlie. Down. No, it's over. I, I, I mistook the uh, static. Uh, Many uh, baggage carts for the GSX ones. We're further down here. So you look for the blinky lights because they've got blinky lights on their vehicles. So. I do love Minneapolis International. They oh, did a nice job on that. They really did. They really did. I All see right. blinky lights. Yep, you can kill the uh, taxi light now. Didn't actually never mind. Oh, 
Right, so pull into Charlie 6. That's totally Charlie 9. 65, well, in your one, scenery, one, maybe. Thanks, wow. ladder. I know, right? Totally unnecessary. <laughs> All right, parking brake set. Parking checklist. Or shutdown checklist, or whatever it is next. The shutdown checklist includes seatbelt signs. Off. I'll turn them off. And <laughs> I'm going to hook up the uh, external power here real quick. Yeah, get the engines off first. Yeah, hang on. Let me get the external power connected there. All right, engine's coming down. All right, seatbelt signs are off. Hydraulic panel. It is set. A air conditioning panel is about to be set because it's going to be off because we're going to have ground air. Fuel panel. Well, 2034 Minneapolis ground fish on. To get back to the rear Fuel panel set. Uh, ice protection panel. Uh, set. Beacon. Is off. Uh, fuel switches. Off. Transponder. Standby. And parking brake is set. Yes, it is. Shutdown checklist complete. Affirmative. All right. Oops. Nope. Nope. Don't do that. No. no. Operate jetway is no longer available. Why? <laughs> what? Port. Why is deboarding no longer available? He put us too far in, didn't he? All right. Well, we're yeah. they're they're deboarding. The jerks. You think they'd be able to figure out? I don't know what the over under is on that. Oh, whatever. Okay. All right. Well, well done. We got a successful flight in uh, shared cockpit uh, on FNO uh, from uh, Lansing Capital to uh, to Minneapolis St. Paul. So, well done. Let me uh, turn off. Uh, I did. That's which is saying something apparently now for me. <laughs> One for two. Add that to the repertoire. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, just to uh, update for uh, future here. Uh, so there will be uh, no stream tomorrow. Uh, it's, uh, I was going to be hanging out with my brother. So uh, we'll pick up uh, the ball next uh, Thursday if everything goes to plan. And uh, we'll go from there. I don't know. I do have a funeral next Saturday in the middle of the day that I may be having to run. I don't, I'm waiting to hear back. So... Um, we may be pushing the uh, the long Saturday flight anyway for another week or two, uh, depending on the results of that. If if nothing, if I end up not having to run the funeral, then uh, then we will do it next week. So it just depends, but I'll keep you posted. Um, other than that, have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and uh, we'll see you all uh, hopefully next Thursday. And uh, don't forget to hit the, sign up for uh, Flight Sim Expo if you haven't already, because we would love to see you there. And that is coming up in June, so. All right, guys, have a wonderful night. We'll see you next time. Take care. Nice job, David. Good night. See ya.